Yesterday, we talked about the possibility of the Detroit Lions trading back with the Philadelphia Eagles. And in an earlier video today, we talked about the Detroit Lions picking up an extra pick by trading DeAndre Swift, whether it was a third or a fourth, which is what I believe they would get for DeAndre Swift. I, I do believe that his floor would be a, a, a fourth and his ceiling would be a third. If the Detroit Lions could pull off a third, that would be amazing. But I think based on DeAndre Swift's potential, they could get a fourth round pick. But the rumors and the speculation about the Philadelphia Eagles really wanting Jalen Carter is huge. Now, what makes this so interesting? What makes it interesting is, remember, last year, the Philadelphia Eagles drafted his teammate in the first round in Jordan Davis. So they could pair those two individuals up together and recreate that havoc that they had in Georgia two years ago. So coming from water football again, and we talked about, we referenced a similar tweet earlier, per team sources, Eagles are calling about trading up from 10 in the six to eight reigns for Jalen Carter. Now, why six to eight? Why is it that the Philadelphia Eagles are specifically targeting six to eight? Because we know that a quarterback, at least two of them, most likely will be gone in those first two picks. But I'm going to let Walter break it down even further, coming from WalterFootball.com. It says, last year, the Philadelphia Eagles moved up in the first round to select Georgia defensive tackle Jordan Davis. And if the Eagles could have their way, they would do that again to reunite Davis with his former teammate Jalen Carter. NFL team sources have told WatcherFootball.com that Philadelphia has made calls to see what it would take for teams to move down to the 10th overall pick. Given the cost of trading in the top 10, the Eagles are not looking to move into the top five. Their calls have focused on the teams in the back half of the first round. The Detroit Lions actually start the back half of the first round at pick six. He continues, of course, for a trade to happen, Carter would have to slip past the number five in the 2022-2023 NFL draft. The only top five picking teams that look like a possibility for Carter is the Seahawks with the fifth selection. Detroit, Las Vegas, and Atlanta are not going to take Carter because of his poor character and work ethic issues not meshing well with their team cultures. I agree wholeheartedly. The Bears could easily take Carter if he got to the number nine pick, so the Eagles would want to jump them. Although that trio at number six through eight, among that trio at number six through eight, the Raiders and Falcons are probably the most likely trade down partners. Both Las Vegas and Atlanta could use more draft picks, so a trade is possible. The Seahawks are the key to the situation, and if they pass on Carter, then he has a real shot to join join Davis in Philadelphia. Now, I agree with everything that was said here. I don't think Jalen Carter is going to go picks one through four because at least I believe that three of those first four teams need a quarterback. I don't think Davis Mills is the answer. So the Houston Texans have a decision to make. They have a possibility of getting both Will Anderson at pick two and then 14, the pick that they got from the Cleveland Browns, they could take B. John Robinson. So, but to me, that would just be dumb to pass on a quarterback because Davis Mills is not the answer, especially if C.J. Stroud goes number one or Will Levis even goes number one. If Bryce Young is sitting there at number two, you got to take him. Okay, so then that leaves the Arizona Cardinals, and they seem to be going the route of Will Anderson Jr., which would push Jalen Carter back to number four. The <laughs> Indianapolis Colts absolutely need a quarterback. Matt Ryan last year, they had, uh, what's his name, Carson Wentz the year before that. So for them to pass on a quarterback, even if it's Anthony Richardson, would be dumb in my opinion. So that pushes Jalen Carter back to number five. The Seattle Seahawks could very well take Jalen Carter. So if, and I think they are the biggest hurdle between the Philadelphia Eagles getting him and the Detroit Lions having that option to trade back. Now, here is what I think is going to happen. This is going to play out in real time during the NFL draft as we continue to watch and we see Jalen Carter, if he indeed slips further and further and further, and he does indeed go past 
the Seattle Seahawks and is available for the Detroit Lions, that's when a move would be made. And we talked about it yesterday, about essentially the Lions getting picked 30 for this trade. We would drop back six because I think that we would drop back four. I think that Will Anderson Jr. is the target, like period. He's the target. If we go back to 10, we could we could do that. Now, for me, I would love to for that to happen. And, and here's what I do. Y'all ready for this? I'm about to shock you. I'm about to blow your mind. If the Detroit Lions do indeed trade with the Philadelphia Eagles, if Jalen Carter is sitting there at six, the Detroit Lions trade back with the Philadelphia Eagles at pick number 10, I'm taking B. John Robinson because we would keep him from the Houston Texans who have no business getting both B. John Robinson and Will Anderson Jr. That's who I take at pick 10. We would then have pick 18, and we would still have 30. And if we wanted to couple 30, like I said yesterday, 30 with a second-round pick to come back in to the first round, we could do that as well. Or we could just stay at 30 and take who is uh, BPA on the board at that time. So let me know in the comments below. It seems like Seattle is the key. Yesterday we talked about the Houston Texans and what they would be the key to us getting Will Anderson Jr. But this right here, the Seattle Seahawks are the key. But they could shock everyone and take a quarterback because even though they sign Geno Smith to an extension, we know that he's in a very similar situation to Jared Goff where he is not slated to be the future of the quarterback, the, the team. I think Jared Goff has a, a brighter future than Geno Smith. So they could shock everyone and take a Will Levis. Or in my in this case, I think they would take an Anthony Richardson, have him sit behind Geno Smith for a year or two and take over when that when when that contract runs out or before. So the key here is the Phili the C Seattle Seahawks. And I agree 100% with this assessment that the Detroit, Detroit Lions, Las Vegas, and Atlanta are not going to take Carter because of his poor character and work ethic issues not meshing well with the culture. And I think that is the number one thing. Aiden Hutchinson fit. Kayvon Thibodeau does not. Will Anderson Jr. fits in this year's draft. Jalen Carter does not. So that's my, my thoughts on how that's going to be. So let me know what yours is in the comments below. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers. I would love to hit it by or during the NFL draft and going to May 1st at a crisp 10K. So consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And don't forget, we will be live at 7 on Thursday, round one. We're going to be taking phone calls up until the draft. I want to hear what the fans have to say. It's going to be me and my guy, the Dern, and we're going to be talking about the Detroit Lions and what they have in store in this year's draft. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself. And as always, go Lions. I had to find what I was looking for.